As we go through life, we face the slings and arrows of whatever came our way. Because you survived, you had to deal with that in some way. The question is, what did you have to do to yourself in order to survive it? At the risk of oversimplification, an organism does one of two things. It either increases its energy in order to deal with a threat, or it decreases its energy in order to get away from a threat. Let's take an example. You're in third grade and there's a school bully. And every day you go to school and here's this bully. And so maybe you teach yourself to fight. You train in martial arts. You carry a knife with you. You get your big brother to come and protect you. Those are all ways of increasing your energy. Or maybe you didn't have any of that available to you and here comes the bully. So you say, I'm gonna take an avoidant response. I'm gonna run out of here. or I'm gonna go hide in my locker. Or another example, let's say you have a test the next day in school and you either stay up all night studying or you say, I'm not ready for the test and you skip out. If we repeatedly had to do this in a particular area of our lives, like survival or our emotions or power or love or communication, for example, we may have become imbalanced in a particular chakra. If we went to the excessive end of things, it's sort of like eating too big a meal. You feel very sluggish afterwards, heavy and hard to move. So in a particular chakra, it means we're doing too much of that thing. We get fixated, we overdo it on that level. If we go to the deficient end of things, we might flee energetically from our body. We might say, oh, I don't wanna feel those feelings or I don't wanna open my heart then the chakra shuts down and doesn't have enough energy. The trouble is, our imbalances in chakras, we get used to them. They feel normal after a while. It's just the way we are. That is, until it shows up in our relationships, in our ability to earn money, in our health in some way, and then it says, hey, something's out of balance. You gotta deal with this. I call these imbalances in the chakras excessive and deficient responses. An excessive response is a compensating response and deficient is an avoidant response. But they unbalance your energy and become patterns lodged in the psyche and in the body, patterns that require healing. Just like a washing machine makes a lot of noise when the spin cycle is out of balance, well, the spinning wheels of our chakras don't function very well when they're out of balance. Restoring this balance can make everything smoother in your life. So what common issues can result from a chakra imbalance? Well, in the body, it can be over and underweight. In the emotions, it can be being too emotional or being not able to feel your emotions, being sort of emotionally dry and reserved. In energy, it could be anxiety, having too much energy, or depression, not having enough. Relationships, you may be too centered on your relationships, giving yourself away, or you may isolate too much. You may talk too much or talk too little. Some of these are very simple to see. Do we do too much of something or do we do too little of something? We want to balance our chakras by coming back in the middle into the healthy functioning of what that chakra is here to do. It's not that just magically waving your hands over a chakra can deal with all of these issues, even though that may have some effect. It's really about delving deeply into the psychology of where they came from and healing them at the root level. Through exercises that bring that into balance, that changes your behavior, your habits, your thinking, and your life. I like to garden, and I know that if I wanna get rid of weeds, I have to pull them out by the roots. So if you have these issues, you're underweight or overweight, or your unbalanced emotions, or your relationships don't work, if you really wanna clear it up, you gotta to go to the root of the problem. You gotta see where it came from in your psychological programming. And when you heal that, you can move forward with greater freedom and ease in everything you do. So if you wanna learn how to assess and balance your chakras, sign up for the free masterclass with Mind Valley. And here you will receive a meditation to activate each of your chakras. See you in the masterclass.